not too many ships are passing these days on this usually very busy river shipping lane. Europe's second largest river has struggled with low levels for months. Grass now covers the river bank that was once underwater. This is not the worst drought that this section of the Danube in Serbia has seen, not even in the past few decades. Yet, a German World War II flotilla resurface due to low water levels is always unique and interesting event. Germans fleeing advancing Soviet forces sank around 150 ships here, including this armored river monitor that's reappeared. 5. September 1944. To je posljednji brod koji je otišao uzvodno. I više niko nije mogao da prođe uzvodno jer je Dunav bio zaprečen. Kao što pričaju ljudi, videli su se katarke, pramci, dimnjaci. Posle rata je izvučeno iz Dunava sedam brodova i negde oko dvadesetak drugih plovila, barže, šlepova i tako dalje. Velimir Trajlović has spent much of his life gathering historical data about the event that still haunts locals who rely on the river. This is Ivica. He is a riverman on a ship named after his hometown, Prahovo. But the ship is unable to navigate most of the river, so Ivica is forced to make a living using his own smaller boat to fish and transport tourists to some of the sandbanks. The Danube has risen by about 70 centimeters in the last few days, but it is not enough for a normality to return in and around this river. Aljoša Milenković, CGTN, Prahovo.